Hello, everybody. Flaming Shark back with another video, and we're back with Dong and Rapa. And let's turn down this audio real quick. Also, Hina is very appropriate given what Chapter Four gave us. There we go. Ah, uh, Taka. We'll miss you, Taka. There's not many uh, students left. We're down to... I guess we're still at seven, actually, given what happened last time. Pretty much confirmed uh, the existence of Mukuro Ikusaba, I believe was her name. The 16th student, the ultimate despair. So... In regards to Mukuro, I'm going to assume that Mukuro is, um... I'm gonna assume that Mukuro is, um... What's it called? I'm gonna assume that Mukuro is the Lucha Mask Potato who attacked Makoto and took all the stuff. Just because I... It doesn't, especially with the spy having been revealed and all that, I doubt it's any of the other characters, so I don't really know who else it could possibly be, other than Mukuro. Um, so I assume that was the ultimate despair, and maybe he got, and I'm wondering if he got that feeling of deja vu because he was near Mukuro. Now, I doubt Mukuro's the mastermind, because that seems just too easy, but I don't know. I mean, maybe, but that doesn't really make sense, given that supposedly Mukuro is Monokuma's ace in the hole. So, Mukuro being the mastermind herself doesn't really make sense. And they've already implied that the headmaster is possibly the mastermind. And how the headmaster comes in, the actual headmaster comes into play is another story. But we finished chapter 4, which means it's time for chapter 5. And I'm worried I don't have enough save slots because in the middle of chapter 4's case, they said we were halfway through the game, which implies that there's a lot more gameplay left, and I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Let's do it. Here we go. It's time for Danganronpa. Mukuro Ikusaba. Yep. That's that's her name. Don't wear it out. <gasps> what? Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student. Lying hidden somewhere in this school. I think the first time they did it, they played that great piano theme that's kind of like the Revelation theme. It plays like when, um... When, um... A bunch of, like, big moments, like when Tagami bowed out of the game, and, you know, I don't know. The one they call the ultimate despair. I hope she's something else, because if you're gonna call her the ultimate despair in a game of despair, this Mukuro Ikusaba better be something else. Watch out for her. Yeah, I'm watching out for her. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Wow, he, Makoto just straight up telling us it's three days before the next murder. Okay. Oh, uh. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. That looks like a girl's nails. Huh. I doubt this is Mukuro, though. Actually, Mukuro. I don't know. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Chapter 5. 100 Mile Dash. Pain of a junk food junkie. And that most definitely looks like... That kind of has like a vampire vibe to it, but it definitely was Kyoko. Holy shit. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall, let me guess, Toko and Byakuya are there because of Byakuya's decision. Yep! Hmm. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Huh? Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Ah, oh. jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well, 
He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities, man. That's what I like to think anyway. <laughs> Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Doko, you've been pretty quiet. Woo! Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. Gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. <laughs> her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Huh? What? But she can't open her mouth. She can't eat or drink water. <laughs> I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? <sighs> Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under, man? Whew. I believe this is the small talk Byakuya warned us against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. <laughs> nice. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. Aw, it's so cute because he really does care. He's trying not to act like it, but he does care. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakuya, we all started our exploration. All right. So. First things first. Um, can we finally? No, it's still locked. This gate seems remarkably sturdy. Why would someone go to all the trouble of blocking off this entire area? It's still blocked. So we're gonna get to the fifth floor of the school. If the fifth floor is the last floor, then that implies there's only six trials. But to say that mid fourth chapter or mid fourth trial is halfway, that would imply that we have at least seven chapters probably, I don't know. But I don't want to look at the map because I don't want to see anything new. So we're just going to, one at a time, we're just going to head up the stairs. Um, okay, I, I don't mind looking at this map, though. Yeah, because I need to remember where the stairs are because we're not teleporting anymore. And then from there, okay, we have a long way to go, actually, to get to the fourth floor. All right, here we go. Or wait, no, we're on the third floor. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so there's a few things we need to check. First things first, data center. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge, it must be locked. Okay, so, the, so that's still locked. Was the office locked? I think the office was unlocked. Yeah, the, yeah, we've been here with all the flowers. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So the next thing to check is can we enter the headmaster's uh, uh, room? Door won't budge. It must be locked. All right. So the headmaster's room is also still locked, which means there's nothing new to see on the fourth floor either. So it's time for the fifth floor. Here we go. Let's see what the fifth floor is like. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason it feels unpleasant. I wonder if that's because, um... The ultimate despair has been chilling up here. Alright, let's enter 5A. A violin. Nighttime secrets. No more. He's so dirty. Okay, so you're getting stepped on. I mean, you did get stepped on by, uh, Junko. Hmm. Alright. Five Bs next. See what we got. Oh, hello. Haha, catch me if you can. 
Wait up, I'm gonna punish you! And it says Makoto and then gross. Um. Um. And we can't examine, of course. Huh? Does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Is she trying to say something? I think she almost, she's almost, just a little more and I might get it. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. She just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad, I guess she gave up. Can you not, is there no paper and pencil or pen to write something? He didn't say anything about writing stuff. Okay. Ooh, we got a lot of options here. Ooh. Um. What is this? That's an interesting door. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. It's like, uh, we got Sakura trees and... Is that targets? Like for archery, maybe? We got a samurai outfit. Yeah, a suit of an armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. Weird comment to make given we are in Japan, unless, um, because, yeah, the game started in Japan, so it's not like we localized that, but sure. We got a coin. That target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. All right, another coin. I forgot to do that off camera, god damn it. I forgot to go to the school store off camera. I'll probably ha just actually edit it out this time. Even though the ro this room is totally enclosed, or maybe I won't, there's a cherry tree planted here and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. All right, you lived overseas. That's another... But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? It's very out of place. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here, too? There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of super old school public bathhouses. Is there anything else? Will this do the same thing? Hey. In Sucks, Kyoko. What Kyoko told me yesterday. The heck did it mean? Nukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. It's pretty obvious. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. That's pretty simple, man. Um, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? He was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. How did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then... Well, she used you as a diversion in the middle of the night to divert Monokuma's eyes. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. Just like usual, I didn't understand anything any better than before. All right. Very pretty area. Uh, what the f hell? Um, I guess this is our next room to explore. What on earth is this? Oh. Oh my god, those are massive Venus flytraps. What the hell? Of course, even here, surveillance cameras. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely anywhere. How many cameras does this place ha have anyway? Yep. So I'll check that out last. Jesus Christ. Uh, what, what is this? 
This thing is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! What? <sighs> That's a Monokuma flower! I came up with the name myself! Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement! Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, blug, I'm dead! In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaky and amazing if I do say so myself. A student at Hope Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Oh. And we learned about the ultimate physicist in the physics lab on the third floor, if I'm not mistaken. Actually... By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. You can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Oh god, that's how he's getting rid of the bodies. Well done. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> Not that I know anything about that myself. <laughs> Jesus. Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. That thing is terrifying. Just to be sure, I should take a look in that tool shed. Oh, we can actually go in. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall, is that a pickaxe? It looked like a knife, not a pickaxe. That was the murder weapon, so I doubt it was that. But... Let's see. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. That doesn't sound like a terrible idea, Makoto. There's a lawn mower here. Even with this here, who's actually going to take care of the lawn? Another coin. Ah, there's something carved in the handle of the pickaxe. Crazy diamond. Like the... the gang? Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Yeah. I can go all the way down to the bottom. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Where is it? Where is it? Should be close. There it is. A name of the country's greatest biker gang leader embroidered on it. It's the Crazy Diamond. Yep, that's the name of the. That was the name of the gang. Yep, and of course, um, Makoto doesn't remember. There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Yes, they are. Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There are so many different kinds to choose from. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? Are there actually chickens inside? Oh my god. Oh my god. This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. Seems safe. Huh. Oh wow, we can actually... Wow, we can actually do each individual chicken. Okay. It's a chicken. It's not gonna, like, lay a bomb, is it? It's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. It doesn't have, like, a second four, right? Oh, that's amazing that we can step away from the chicken coop. Wow. <laughs> oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here, man. Exactly. 
Hmm. Five, you know, the number that comes after four and before six. At least, in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos, and it's chapter five as well. I'm at least 30% right. It's a number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand-squeezed all-natural lemonade. He never lets me get in a word edgewise. All right, let's talk to you then. Yo. At first I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out they were just, they just painted the walls and the ceiling. I was actually gonna ask about that. You know? Ugh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. Helps me relax. What the heck? That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why, is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. I mean, some of these plants legitimately kind of are. When they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore. The end is nigh! They'll put their plan for global human extinction into action, man! Well? I'm serious! Okay then, hero. Oh. Wait, really? Oh, I have to examine this thing, okay. I didn't realize I could. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? <laughs> it's for the sprinklers! Sprinklers? <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> Of course, the settings panel is locked, so you can change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? <laughs> yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. <sighs> but you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Ah! Ah! Disgusting. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell it everyone! Alright, apparently Makoto has a water fetish. Good to know. That was interesting. Um what's next? Okay, that's just a loop around. So we did all of that. We did everything prior to this part, so and there's no other way to advance, right? Yeah, okay. So there's that area and now we'll talk to Asahina. Um this floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. It's probably our girl, the ultimate despair. Oh, it's gonna be that room, I bet. It's totally gonna be that room at the end. What is it? This is 5C. Oh, sh oh my God. What the fuck, eye for an eye? Um, Jesus Christ. Oh, also, I see how many bodies? One, two, three, four, at least four? Good God. Well, what the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? it it's... It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying <laughs> it's the smell of death, their flesh and fat and blood? There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I experienced this smell more than once before. The smell of death and despair. Key word is despair, actually, not death. <laughs> but the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... Hey! What? Come on now! My fault again? Poom, poom! Stop trying to blame everything on me! If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. Unbelievable. So does this have anything to do with the tragedy? Because one of the predictions was actually just that, like, someone murdered all the kids in the school. And could that have been Mukuro? But my question with that is, 
That doesn't really make sense, though, because they they described it as, like, the worst event in human history, and that seems like a massive... Even, even if all the kids in the school got murdered, that seems like such a big stretch to call it the worst event in human history. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna say that this, this game happened because of Mukuro. Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, eegy sweet, squeegee little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. Okay, that's better. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. Uh-oh. It's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk? Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait! I can't wait! So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. Interesting to call him soldier as well. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it. What's the meaning of all this? Um... Blood stain. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood. Hmm. Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? Seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep up with someone like that. He might not be playing the game anymore, but that doesn't mean there isn't interesting things about Hope's Peak. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it, but you do. We can't examine the clock, which I noticed doesn't look like it has any potato, and then eye for an eye we can't examine either. Very weird. Anything else we can examine? Oh, we can examine the door itself. Oh, okay, just to leave. Never mind. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bio, so it's biology. Raw. Oh, God. Mukuro time? No. It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says bio lab. A bio lab that we're forbidden from seeing into. Kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Huh. Originally, I was thinking Mukuro would be in here, but maybe, maybe this has to do with whatever Monokuma did to our bodies. Has to do with the bio lab. Wonder why it says raw, though. It just makes me think of Gordon Ramsay for whatever reason. It's bloody raw! <laughs> I guess I've seen what I what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. Need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. So I think the key here is that the key here is that there was no sixth floor. This is clearly the final floor of the school area. There's only five floors, which means that the only locked off area remaining is. Unless there's multiple floors of the living area, the only locked off area left is the se supposedly the second floor of our li of our dorms. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall, and before too long, <laughs> it would appear everyone has returned. <sighs> still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't be a sour puss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Hmm. Can we stop all this group hub hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. 
All right, we'll just go left to right, I guess. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to kind of be soccer's job, but hmm. anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. I is she going to say how there's no sixth floor? What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? The fact that there's no sixth floor. Huh? Why do you ask? So then... Because if you... If you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Huh? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. Hmm. And that's left all that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. That's not true. There's still one area that's locked off. But... But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. It's it. We are, yeah, the benefits of actually killing people are going down a little bit there. Outside of the graduation benefit. The benefit for the not involved parties afterwards is down. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out of this. Make it out, no matter what it takes. All right, let's talk to Kyoko. Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. So that's the thing. Like, the, after the next murder going into chapter six, it's the bio lab. There's still the bio lab. There's still the headmaster's office. There's still the data center. And there's still potentially the second floor of the dormitory or whatever that is. So there's definitely still things that we can't access yet. Hmm. Bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be... If this were, like, a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature. The final boss, or tyrant, or... But... We're not in a horror game, though. Yeah, I wouldn't call this a horror game. Hmm. <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. But I guess, in a sense, it might be the quote-unquote final bosses, and I imagine it's probably where Mukuro is. I probably won't bother editing that out if but I you guys probably could hear my sneezes, so Don't bother thinking about something that can be understood no matter how much you think about it can't be understood Naturally your tiny brains can only do so much. So focus on utilizing them efficiently Well, I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right What? No, how I said it is right, too. Let's talk to Master. Hm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange war room on the fifth floor? Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. Hm. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What? What? What the hell are you talking about, man? Hm. The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body's smell concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But... But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So, in other words... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. <laughs> so, it definitely feels like the game wants us to connect the, the idea of this being what the tragedy was. But I don't know. Like, the way they built up the tragedy, it feels like this is way too small scale. And to be fair, there are a lot of other, like, overlying questions. So, I feel like they're gonna... If anything, we might come to a false conclusion about what the tragedy was. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop! S Seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. 
perhaps that was what what that's what was meant by the biggest, the most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's too no it no it can't be. Like oh man, like that would have been such an over exaggeration. Even though it would have been absolutely awful and tragic in human history is such a stretch, huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is. The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room, that was the tragedy that happened a year ago? I don't think so, but I mean, given the fact that we know that a student died in the tragedy, it's hard to argue, but it's hard for me to argue it was anything else. In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true... It's all clear now. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. <laughs> just awful, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still, how is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening, even Byakuya of all people? Does that mean they really did cover it up? But even from like the Tagami family doesn't even know about this. So I'll save the girl who probably won't speak for last. You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant? Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. For serious? It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipes, though. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. But you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? Damn. <laughs> of, of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you please tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on! You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But it'll make you happy. I'll answer your dumb question. Oh, no. Huh? So, uh, what was the question again? Ugh. Don't worry. You just answered it. Yikes. All right, let's talk to Master's other pet. Hey, Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'd forgotten about that. Huh? Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on. <laughs> well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, <laughs> I won't stop you. Jesus. <laughs> you, you honor me, master? <laughs> And don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it? What the heck? Sh shut up and don't interrupt when Master and me are t talking. Um. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and so something caught my attention. I wonder if it's the actual picture with Makoto and. <sighs> oh shit! It was the this a knife. Ooh. Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. What? It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? Well, how would I n know? Very suspicious. What are you gonna use that knife for? What do you plan to do to us? <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything I just picked it up I didn't want to leave a n knife just lying around how about that I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer 
D don't compare me to her. I'm n nothing like her. Hmm. Listen, more important, now that we have the knife, what are we going to do with it? You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't w want it anyway. It's too dangerous. Hmm, so what to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Ah, huh, me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. And that's that. Uh, hold on, don't I get to say? It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> Poor Makoto. <laughs> uh, okay, s so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. F fine. Guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. <sighs> anyway, th that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, Toko. <laughs> uh, do, do I still have bad br breath? <laughs> sorry, 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 I'm sorry, it stinks, I'm sorry, it stinks, I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery, good job. Oh my god, she's gonna come. <laughs> huh? 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 Did Master just p praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. <laughs> uh, I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. <laughs> uh, that I would ever experience such a dream. <sighs> I feel strange. <gasps> so strange. Really strange. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh. Is she about to come? Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Didn't we talk to everyone? Do I need to back out? Uh, who did I miss? Did I not talk to Kyoko? I did. Hey. Bio room was the only room locked to us on the fifth floor. That concerns me. Hmm. I wonder what's in there. Hm. There's no need to think about it too much at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something. Oh yeah, we saw that. Yeah. Yep, windows. Mm. Correct. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's talk to Sagami again. Hmm. That strange room on the fifth floor. We can only assume that a large number of people died in that room. Hmm. So the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. Not necessarily. Y'all have seen in that room? That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? Yep, we saw that too. In other words. Pers yep. That's true. Naturally. Yep. But if that's true, how- yep. Toko again? Ma <laughs> Master praised me. I could live in this dream forever. <sighs> Maybe we should leave her alone for now? Yeah. All right, it's settled. We'll let you be in charge of the knife, Makoto. Okay, so we had to talk to her twice, it looks like. Or not. Hero? You know? Well, there's a big garden. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had three things to talk about with him, of course. A chicken coop. There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Hmm. That's right. Five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decision, decision. My girl. Ah. Oh, oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw. No. Okay, you lost me there, girl. I like my steaks pretty rare, but let's not be eating raw chicken. I don't want to die. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. You know? You noticed it too, huh? That pickaxe. What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? 
It said Crazy Diamond on it. Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words Crazy Diamond have been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy Diamond, huh? Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't think, just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? Oh, that's it. I remember. Yeah, it was on his jacket. It was on Mo it was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Hmm. Why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when we first came here and Monokuma confiscated it? Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? Yo! What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we could use it to call for help. What the fuck? Huh? How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe I could use it to make crop circles or something. With what? Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well? And we can use those to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? Yeah, it feels like he's getting stupider over time. You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? Yeah, he's going crazy, maybe. You know? Well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. What the fuck, Yasuhiro? Uh. I think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo! So what do we... So now what do we do? Hmm. Well... Starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're going to bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um. So, what is it you want to figure out is about the the locked the locked area from the first floor? Hmm. Oh, that's a good thing to figure out too. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well, Kyoko's identity, but Kyoko is Kyoko, right? Finally, finally, we might get to, um, where's Kyoko? Jesus Christ, everyone is dead. Jesus Christ. Ultimate question mark. Detective, assassin, spy. There's only a few options that make sense. <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope Speak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, Hiro's the ultimate clairvoyant, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but you you, you say that, but you're still alive, Makoto. <laughs> so what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um... Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Hmm. Oh, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Well, why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? W what do you mean? She doesn't remember? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Huh? Amnesia? What? If I had thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is very suspicious. It is. Y you can't be serious right now, can you? Whew. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However... But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us? Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? Hmm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. 
What? Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you her room key, huh? she can go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. Hmm. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. That's fine. Fine. I understand. Hmm. Good. No, she's going to give you her key. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and gave, her, gave, gave him her key. Held out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. I think we all lost our memory. It's just she's lost a little more than the rest of us. This is the worst school ever, where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. However, the worst school where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Yeah, that's saying that you didn't make any friendships along the way. Huh? Huh? Hey, can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? W what do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Damn! I, I was thinking we were talking about the friendships we made along the way, but maybe it was something else. Also, it's apparently nighttime, so we're going to sleep pretty soon, probably, or Kyoko isn't. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. Oh God, oh God, for the love of God, she better not die. But he said three days from now, and this is day one of three, if I'm understanding correctly. Which means we're probably going to get free time tomorrow. And then the third day will be plot. Or maybe there's just not going to be any more free time in this game. I don't know. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? Uh, what's her deal? But... I think you went too far. Taking your room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't far in enough. Maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her I enjoying getting yelled at. She's just like me. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. <laughs> Shut her up. Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but what's Kyoko going to do now? Plus, this situation, is she going to get into junk food? <laughs> is she going to be a late night junk food eating and just find some Mountain Dew and some Doritos and just stay up all night, find some monsters? Oh my god, I would die of laughter if there's, if Kyoko just, if the junk food type, because Kyoko was the only person on the title card for chapter five. And it, it, I don't remember the title, it was another weird title, but it was something about junk food. I think the number 100 was in it too. Plus, this situation... It's just like before. Yeah, Kyoko's in the position Sakura was in. It's no different from when any everyone started accusing Sakura. And I, I'm no different either. Still can't stop anyone. <coughs> what? 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 Uh, um. What the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause I mean. Look. Oh hi. What? What? It's you! How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very... Now I'm really angry! Huh? Angry at what? At the thief! Yes, that's right! I'm very sad to have, tell, have to tell you there's a thief in your mist! I'm assuming this is going to be Kyoko. Huh? What? Hey! My precious! They stole it! Oh my god! Lord of the Rings shout out, everyone! And I'm not even a Lord of the Rings fan, but everyone knows. My precious. You're precious? Your teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? <sighs> Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Like Lord of the Rings. Um... 
But what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. Whoa! That joke hits different in 2021. Jesus Christ. Fuck, guys. Again, hopefully by the time this comes out, again, I don't know how long it's going to be before I start releasing these, but hopefully by the time we get here, it's everything, the world is at least better than it is now anyways, which probably will be. And he's gone? What the heck was that all about? So, um... Yeah, because it's April... Well, it's 12.33, so it just turned, uh... I guess it's the 15th of April now, but technically this video started on the 14th. He said something about getting his- about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Yeah, it seems like she's a spy. Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? Which is further confirmed by the fact that she spent most of her time away from Japan. But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? And we got a ding dong bing bong. Because if she was a detective, she probably... Yeah, I feel like detective's not hardcore enough. But maybe. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the, the bed, bed bugs, bugs bite. Um. Uh-oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow and about Kyoko. <laughs> However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms, don't go wandering around. Well... I think we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. It's nice to see Byakuya being part of the team. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, his character development and progression has been very interesting. And he, I mean, he's my favorite character, as I've said. And I really like Toko, Kyoko, um, Celeste, Rip Celeste. I, there's a lot of people I really like. Mondo, Rip Mondo, Chihiro, Rip Chihiro, etc. Taka got really interesting near the end. Hina has grown on me a lot. Hero's a meme. I'd say Hero's probably my least favorite he's just mostly a meme. I feel like Kina's actually developed into a really interesting character. Um, Toko's fucking great. I love Toko. Kyoko, I feel like, is going to be in my top two, though. I think it's gonna... I think Kyoko is probably gonna be my favorite or second favorite character. Probably second favorite because I adore Tagami, but Kyoko is doing a lot for me. And we still have to meet uh, Mukuro. Right? Mukuro Ikusaba? I think that was it. Something like that. Very Japanese name. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Oh, that's right. I need to put away the knife I got from Toko. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't go into her room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Are you going to let her sleep with you? Um, oh, you just went to sleep. Okay. Ugh. As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? Grab the knife. In the drawer lock. Oh, God damn it! You should grab the knife just to be careful. I figured it was Kyoko, but you never knew. K Kyoko? Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Uh, hey, wait, Kyoko. Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. I am a simp for Kyoko, after all. To be fair, the game might actually be shipping them. I, I'm not really sure. All right, let's talk to Kyoko Kirigiri, see what's up. 
Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then... Well then, let me get straight to the point. Something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? Does that mean... Does that have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. What did you steal? So... I stole this. No way. Was this a key? This could be a key to several things. Is it a key to... Headmaster's office? Data center? Or biography lab? Or is it a master key to get into all three? Uh, key? Looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. How'd you get in? What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. Yo! Sakura! Sakura... She said she was gonna... She... Oh, Sakura. That's badass. She did? Indeed. Remember, yeah, I know that 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 I was trying to remember the exact quote, but it was I was struggling Remember what she said in her vote note. I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us That's right so that we could uncover whatever secrets might might lay hidden with within Ugh. She did that for us She violated the school regulations to help us. I mean she was planning on committing on committing suicide anyways, so. She already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place exactly. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I'd just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. There we go, and now it makes sense. She asked me to meet you at the data center in order to- Correct. I wanted to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba. Yeah. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. God, she's hot. The one they call the ultimate despair. Look at her lips. Actually, just look at all of her. Kyoko is just hot. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes? I don't know all the details yet, but... One thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. D dangerous In other words... She may very well be the mastermind. M mastermind didn't Alter Ego say that the master, the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No. The headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba could really could be the mastermind? Anyway. This key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why... <clears throat> I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous! And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? There's more than one person watching us. Is that right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Yeah, it's true. Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. It seems to be the case. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're gonna run the experiment one more time at the risk of my own life. And if we're successful again, <laughs> then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. I love this theme. This is like the Revelations theme. I don't know how else to explain it, but 
This is one of my favorite themes of the game. Hey. If it's true that the Mastermind can't watch and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is to find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but... No matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail... Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak at your discretion. <laughs> no restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, and uh, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the Mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? Correct. In a moment of crisis, will the Mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? That's a fair point. How much does the Mastermind care about the sanctity of the game? Because as we saw, Byakuya cares a, a, a whole lot about the sanctity of the game. And, there, and while obviously Byakuya isn't the Mastermind, it's possible the Mastermind is someone a bit like Byakuya. That someone who's self-centered, who thinks they're untouchable, and who more than anything is playing the game. Which is why the theory that Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind lends on the fact that if, if they went through all this trouble to make this game, of course they want to play it. In other words... We gain something, whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But, I, but Mukuro isn't the mastermind because... Based on the dialogue we saw with Monokuma, it's Monokuma's ace in the hole, and I doubt... Monokuma's ace in the hole is Monokuma's master. But... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. She's right. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? That moment, I finally realized I'd never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. And Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Ah, huh, what's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. Holy shit. It's... it's her last will and testament, then, in all likelihood. If something happens... However... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it. A death without meaning is... unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Holy shit, he's got the he's got the survival knife and Kyoko's note. This is crazy. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. I'm gonna give it back at some point, you can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the Mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh, you mean there's something else? Well... It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I, I can't just forget that easily. So then... Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. Going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. Like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine. I know it. Yeah, if Kyoko dies, that's gonna devastate me. Oh my god. Even though she's so mysterious, like... I've been banking on the idea that she's gonna survive the whole game. And obviously, she's made it really far, but if she if she is the murder victim in Chapter 5, I'm going to... Ah, uh, it's gonna break me. The only thing, like, Tagami and Kyoko are like the two people. Like, I am prepared for anyone else to die, even Toko, even my girl, my fellow pet of the master, but if master dies or Kyoko dies, I'm gonna be devastated. Just because they're the two people that I feel are safe. 
And Tagami is also my favorite character, so there's that. Now everything's gonna be fine, I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helps shake off some of my anxiety. I kind of ship it a little bit, Makoto and Kyoko. They have a unique bond. I feel like out of all the characters, I feel like that's the best ship for Makoto. And then I got to work. And obviously they're both important characters. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Mono hey Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here, I've got a bone to pick with you. And a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Oh, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey, hey! By the way... Uh-huh. Most suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet. So wet and warm and hard and throbbing. And stuffing coming out of your hard throbbing. I bet you guys... Remove to conform with local and international censorship laws. That has got to be the best line Monokuma's ever said. All over her, didn't you? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, God. That's glorious. <laughs> Makoto's like, what the fuck? I'm not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Not from the sound of it. <laughs> because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X rated exploits. Or sexploits. Like, uh, what was it? What was it? Uh, sextracurricular activities? What the fuck? Toko slash, uh, Jill. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow. Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here. Now, what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether, whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? Actually, but in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. I sure. Um, actually, there is. What? Seriously? My entire existence. Then, what am I? My entire existence. This is kind of depressing. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So, what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... That's seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. Hey, look, nukes. You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or... Ursine. Ursine breeding tips? What the fuck is an Ursine? I feel like I'm just being an uncultured swine right now, as, um, as Master would call me, but I literally have no idea what an Ursine is. Some sort of animal, I presume. Yeah. This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? What the heck? God! You're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and. Six letters. That's it. What was that second? Whoa, what was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. Six, six, six letters. Key and... Yeah, I don't know. Key and remote? Question mark? I don't even know. Six letters. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. Poom, poom. The next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Oh, I wanted to hear that part. Whew. Hope I kept him distracted long enough. All I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. 
No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko, after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? Well, I imagine so. Go back to my room and lay down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Hmm. And a Monokuma Theater, our first one of the episode. TV. Monokuma Theater, brought to you by Spike Tune Soft Company Limited. What the fuck? This is getting more and more meta. Um, we got a Monokuma and a girl. I swear there were some other images on there, but now it's just the one. But that was the whole thing. Wait, what? Wait, what? We have a full. What? Excuse me? Monokuma Theater. Spike shoots up made Monokuma Theater. What is this? What the hell? This is great. We actually have animation. This is just straight up animation, too. Nice, Sakura. Yeah, she would probably be a beast in a fighting game. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sakura versus Monokuma. What the f is going on? Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been canceled, of course. If enough people buy Rampa, who knows? So buy copies for you and all your friends. Poo hoo hoo. Hope Speak Academy Store TGS branch, I think was that last part. What was that? That was the commercial. Hmm. It's super. And then the TV, we got the Monokuma, we got the girl with the bear, and a few other things before. This super stylish, super fashionable game was canceled during development? They'll start back up again if Danganronpa sells well? Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too! What on earth? That had to be the dub- that had to be the greatest Monokuma theater of all time. That was ridiculous. What the fuck, Monokuma, you god. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get, Get ready, ready to greet, greet another, another beautiful, beautiful day. day! My body feels so heavy this morning. Must be because I woke up so- I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Most of the time, I haven't even gone to sleep by 7 in the morning. If I go to sleep at all. Alright, leave the area. Anyone we're gonna see on the way? Nope. Dining hall time. If Kyoko's not here, I'm gonna piss myself. And Kyoko's not here. What? And Kyoko's not here, and I'm gonna piss myself. And also, I just read Yakia's line, and he was the guy who used to be late as shit. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? So, sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? Y you really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hm. I don't recall giving you permission. <laughs> huh? I, I just thought, I mean, since a day had passed, it had maybe reset. Huh? S huh? S sorry please don't hate me. Whatever my p punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a s sign from my neck that says, Bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Oh, he's trying so hard. <laughs> Thank you. I won't make any more d disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you could stuff m my mouth full of trash. What the fuck, Toko? <laughs> as long as it hits you and no one else, I d don't mind. <sighs> it's no use. She's disgusted to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Why do I have piss running down my leg? Could it be? Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore? I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. Best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so. You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah, are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? 
What? What? Huh? What do you want now? Hey! Hey! I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? D do you know where she is? Who? Well, it's hard to say. Huh? Huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. To try and prod us for information. Uh-huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask something? Someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? Wow. This is very suspicious. I feel like I'm g getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. She had been right about that? It seems that way. Hey! Hey! I wonder if, like, the Mastermind literally, like, sees through Monokuma. Like, in a literal sense. When they control Monokuma. So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kiri Kiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hm. We have no idea. What the heck? Even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? We're serious. Her. I see. <sighs> well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. Get a little Japanese in the Japanese game. How about that? Even in the translation. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Do you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Well, I think she's in the data center. Probably the data center. Yeah, I think that's the most likely place. She could also be in the bio lab. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. She's obviously somewhere without surveillance cameras. Yoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. Somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? That makes... Hmm. We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. I have a few ideas. Oh, are we going to have free time? Whew. Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Wow, we're really going to have free time. Okay. We have, like, almost no options, by the way. Um... I'm assuming since we have free time, none of these places are going to mean anything, but I feel like even so, we should still check them anyways. Yeah, that was new dialogue, but nothing important. Just that the lock's been fixed. Now let's go to the fifth floor where everyone's probably chilling. Yep. Yeah. They're always in the new areas every time we do this. Um... Oh, you're chilling over here. Jesus Christ, that was a little terrifying. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're going to do this yet again, but we're about to gamble on camera once more. But I'll just blitz through my coins anyways, just to make things easier for you guys so you don't have to watch as, as um... You don't have to watch uh, me go through over 100 things, because even I don't want to... Well, that's the thing, even I don't want to actually put it in that many times on camera or off camera, you know what I mean? I don't think we've gotten that baseball before.
Not sure if we've gotten that before. sure if that's the same shirt we already have or not. That's the Amaplata. Oh, we got bonus one. Okay. Let's see what we got. I have no idea what that is. That's definitely a new one. We got the Scarab brooch again. Don't really know who that one's for, honestly. I feel like there's a few options that might be. Oh, I know who that's for. That might have decided who we're going after. At least one round. I have no idea what that is. Now we got another whip for Celeste. Although Toko might like it or she might hate it. I don't really know. Um, I'll have to check to see what that is. Like a tape. Well, that's creepy. That looks some type of doll. Um, that looks like a old radio or a metronome or something. Another meal. Food. Well, it looks like we could probably do Tagami and Hina. Because I think... I think that was the same coffee we used on... Yeah, I think we could do Tagami and Hina pretty comfortably, probably. What? I don't know what that is. We got a few more we'll do. Glasses. Okay, that's a new one. We'll do four more. We'll do four more. Okay, we got two of those now, whatever that is. We'll have to see. Some sort of snack. Perfect, given this is apparently the junk food chapter. We got three of those now, Jesus Christ. Whatever that is, I hope it's for someone I like. Now we got another one of those. I think we got two or three of those if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's get out of here. Before we go anywhere, let's see what we got for our presents. Oh yeah, we have two of these coffees, nice. Okay, so we have plenty of stuff for Tagami. So we'll just focus on Tagami because he's my, he's my boy. A giant donut that doubles as a flotation device and naturally you can snack on it while floating out to sea. What? This is literally ha has to be the best possible gift in the universe. A hundred percent. Hina would fucking love this. Oh my god. I almost want to give it to her just to see how happy she'd be. Um, okay, so we have the brooch. We have two of these now. Glasses. Say that wearing these while performing incantations will help you better speak with the target of your spell. Huh. Yeah, obviously this is for, um... Quality chinchilla cover, a dark red seat cover. Its refined design is intended for only the most elite clientele. Huh. This might be for Tagami, Celeste. The ones that are stuck up. Tumbleweed? Excuse me, what? A dried out, oh yeah, a tumbleweed. Who would want the tumbleweed? I guess maybe Mondo? I don't even know. Someone who likes uh, old westerns, I guess. Oh, we have two of these. We have a lot of these down here. Okay, self-destructing cassette. This has got to be a Kyoko thing. 
Old timey radio, radio with the retro exterior, but state of the art technology inside. Of course, there's no reception in the schools. So you can't hear anything anyway. Huh. Okay. Antique doll. Oh, we have two of these. Okay. Hmm. Millennium prize problems. Excuse me. These seven important mathematical problems were posed by the Play Clay Mathematics Institute. For the reward of one million dollars for each one solved. Oh, I know who this is for. 100% that's for Tagami and I'm so hyped because we got three of those motherfuckers. Holy shit. Voice changing bow tie. This originally belonged to a detective who has the body of a child but the mind of a de Wait, is this? I've never seen the show. But is this related to the- is this a Detective Conan reference? Because I've never seen Detective Conan and it's one million episodes, but I'm pretty sure he is like the a body of a child. Huh. I have no idea if he actually has a hmm. poor altar lump. Why are there so many? At the back. I'm so confused by that. Okay, so we have a million pounds of fodder for my boy. So, yeah, and there's barely anyone here. Of course, they're together. So let's go in the garden. Not where I expected Tagami to be, but maybe I shouldn't be that surprised. Christ, that Monokuma flower is massive. Let's talk to my boy. What? What? Did you need something? Uh, should I talk to Byakuya for a while? That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. I spent some time with Byakuya. Byakuya and I... Byakuya and I grew a little closer today. I'm pretty sure I've used this on him before. Pretty sure. Yeah, I want to give him the prize problem. I wanted to check to make sure. I'm pretty sure I've, I've gotten some info. But it kind of bleeds over. It's hard to remember what info was, like, directly gained through storyline and what info was specifically... He's going to like this. This is you. You bastard. How did you get your hands on this? Even the collective force of the entire Tagami Corporation wouldn't be able to obtain this gem. Naturally. I I'm going to hold on to this. Seeing Yakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. I want to check just his report card real quick to see what we actually know. Yeah, we do have something here. Yeah, the ultimate perfection. Yep. Yeah. We got a skill out of that, too. So, in other words... Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent pro progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Tagami name. Huh, is this a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The K Tagami Corporation reaches across the world, true. But I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the F Tagami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I've fought and won. Battles? <laughs> I am personally worth over four di billion dollars, separate from my Tagami family assets. Jesus Christ. H how the heck did you make that much money? In other words... The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff off on the stock market, doing everything in a single day. I think that's called day trading. You're talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make $4 billion doing that? That's right. Well, I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are, are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Byakuya Tagami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Yeah, pretty much, Makoto. Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Tagami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. 
So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern-day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? <laughs> of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident, and that makes sense. Like, the second the game got... It w he wasn't interested in the game anymore. He stopped playing. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. So what did we actually add to his report card? I want to fill out his report card as much as possible in whatever free time we'll have left. I am personally worth over $4 billion, which I accrued on the stock market separate from my Tagami assets. Frankly, my life is too e or life is too easy. We gained a skill point or skill points. I don't know, actually. Still reeling from Byakuya's story, I went back to my room. Can we just hang out? Can we just double up on hanging out with him or do we need to hang out with someone else? I feel even worse than I did this morning. Body feels like lead and... Now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Huh. Despite getting sick, we are spending some free time. So let's find... Let's find our... Let's... Okay, we don't even need to, to teleport for this. Everyone's back on the first floor. Let's see if we can talk to Byakuya a second time. If not, we'll probably go after Hina. Scurrying around again, huh? Looking at you makes me physically ill. Yes! That's fine. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. Yes, I hope you appreciate this. I spent some time with Byakuya, and we'll just give him more... Byakuya and I grew a little closer today. Yes, definitely. Let's give him another of the Millennium Prize Puzzles. Actually, let's go this way. Where is it? There it is. We still have two more. I see. Now this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Okay, so the first time they get like a super special thing, they get, they get all hot and bothered. But the second time, it's not as impressive, I guess. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. I am happy, Makoto. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, Makoto, I wanted to ask you something. What could Byakuya want to talk to me about? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, uh, sure, what's up? <laughs> you know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us, are able to succeed in life. So, in other words... For the other 99%, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place, that's true. Spending every waking hour toiling to scrap together a meager living, just barely getting by. What? I just don't understand. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Why are you asking me? <laughs> because you're part of that 99%, of course. Why did you why did you even feel the need to ask? I knew he was gonna insult me somehow, but I'm here for it, master. <laughs> Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. So tell me, how does it feel to live a life without hope, without potential or ambition or dreams? C come on! I don't have ambition or dreams? I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but... You have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? <laughs> Your complaints are as old as tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet, those are the words of the 99%. That's how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. So stop saying stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry, I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in a position to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would change. Your existence is of no consequence. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal and important life, you can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spend all my time complaining my life to, or comparing my life to other people's, I'd never be happy. 
Sure, maybe you could do that. You were guaranteed success from the day you were born, so oh. What? Oh, that pissed him off. Hold it. From the day I was born? Oh, we're gonna learn some shit. Wait. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Is he an orphan? Was he an orphan? Did the Togami family, like, pick him from an orphanage because he was, like, so brilliant? Wait, what? From the day I was born? You have no idea. <laughs> you don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I have gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I am the chosen. W what are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you, running away into a world of self-indulgence. Battle, competition, rivalry, you run away from it all. That is why the 99% walk the path that they do. Such ignorance. Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After showing a surprising amount of emotion, Byakuya quickly made his exit. What the heck got into him? He was acting totally normal up until... So I said something about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. Wonder why that set him off. Yep. Envious influence. Ooh. I'll be curious to see what that is when we come to the fifth trial. Couldn't stop thinking about Byakuya while I went back to my room. Trust me. When I go back to my room after this, I'm going to keep thinking about Byakuya and he better still be alive. I don't know how long we're going to keep going. I don't even know how long this episode is so far. Well, this is ominous. God, I'm getting the chills. Yeah, he's been feeling worse and worse. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. So I dropped onto the bed, onto my bed. I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I wonder if this has to do with the ultimate despair. Uh, Monokuma feeder? No. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It's more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... Huh. I was restless. Uh, uh. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. What is this? Within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... Makoto. Understand. That's Makoto. That voice. So familiar. It's your own. Ah, it's... I understand. What? It's me. I understand. Okay. I should understand everything. Okay. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay in here? It's to stay here. What is going on? Because remember the remember in the in the secret room, the message was you must stay here. Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. Hope. This is all for hope. Hope for tomorrow, hope for the future. And that's why I have to stay. Huh. I have to stay here. Holy shit, what Huh. He's remembering something. My dream just now... What? Again, it goes back to what I'm saying. They chose people that represented the hope of humanity. That, that makes sense. Every person that was picked is... For various reasons, prodigies, including the ultimate prodigy in Tagami. But and then there was one, one kid, one kid that represented, in the truest sense, hope because he was normal, the lottery student. Like everything about this just screams like it just screams. But they. Deep down, they know what's going on, but they just can't quite remember it. 
And I assume that's what the Mastermind's done to their bodies. They've somehow made them forget the truth. I don't know. So strange. Huh? It's pretty strange. Oh! Oh, shit. Um... Did Makoto? No way. Did Makoto? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Kyoko? What is going on? What the... What did you... What did you say? Wait, what is going on? Now Makoto's saying nothing. This is all the same dream, right? Wait, what? That was all his dream, and now there's a paper dove. Wow, that was insane. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I don't know what to make of that. But as this Monokuma theme, lovely Monokuma theme plays, that had to be one of the best. That was great. I don't know what that was. There was so much there. The freaking... Possibly the girl. The despair. And then Kyoko and just lots of weird shit in there. Oh, man. Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unendi ha unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. He's right. He really is right. What the fuck? Ding dong, bing bong. What the fuck? All right, let's hear it, Monokuma. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time, time to rise. To rise. Shine. Shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful, beautiful day. day. Yes, sir. Uh. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. He's remembering shit. Uh, I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. <sighs> the chills, the aches, the unfathomable leth lethargy, they had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? Yeah, I'm wondering if the ultimate despair is doing something to his mind. I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I, I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then... All of a sudden, I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my body wearing a mask. Definitely a lucha mask. But it also has the the Monokuma symbol on it as well. It could be the Mastermind. Or the 16th student, honestly. And they were holding a knife, assuming they're not the same person. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. Felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. Somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. Dude, is there some way... Dude. This would be so wild, but what if Makoto killed the Lucha mask potato? Because, remember... Because we saw the Lucha Mask Potato stabbed with the knife that was in his room. And dead, and I just assumed that it was a fake and it was actually one of the other students, one of us. 
dressed like that, but maybe not. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember is Kyoko. Kyoko was there. But what sh would she have been doing in my room? Yeah, how much of that was a dream or real? Who knows? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Well, I'm gonna assume someone's dead. Is there any way to confirm if that was really a dream or not? Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, God. Was it a dream or did that really happen? I don't think the bathroom... Oh, the desk. There's gonna be no knife, right? Open the desk drawer and... Huh? It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Not only is the knife gone, the toolkit's gone too. This definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... This was real. A knife they told me to keep safe? I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, then this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? They didn't want to attack you. They just wanted their knife back, probably. And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. Shed of the Dining Hall. I wonder if Kyoko... Then I could talk to everyone else about it. I wonder if Kyoko realized that... Found the dead body on her own and was like... And saw the knife and went to check on Makoto to see Makoto's state. Because he potentially killed him or whatever. I don't know. Oh, no. Hey, Makoto. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Hey, Hina. Um... Really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried. Because, I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know... <laughs> I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know... So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come to get me? Did something happen? <sighs> um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I could really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else, then they can tell you all about it. So, is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost at rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. Wow, the gym. We haven't been to the gym in a while. The gym. Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Yeah, what the fuck's going on? Jesus Christ. Um, Jim, Jim, Jim. Okay, let's not teleport. Let's just go the natural way. So, Hope's Peak. And let's no map this. This is floor one, so we can figure this out. So, down here. And then right turn here, and that's the gym. Yep. I haven't checked the the metal room, actually. Let me... Before we go in the gym, I, I'm sure it's exactly the same, obviously, but I have not been in this room in forever, so let's just check the main hall. Jesus Christ, that's a door. Mailbox. Handbooks of all the students who have died have been placed in here. Yep. The entrance is still blocked by that giant hunk of metal. Will we ever get it open? Yeah, I guess in a sense, that's actually the final thing to open is actually this thing. This is actually the final, like, potato. Even beyond the other doors. Cause that, that is the most obvious way to get out of there. Just figured I'd check it. We haven't been in there in so long, and that's obviously an important room for the end of the game. Alright, let's see what's in the gym. Ah! There was a Monokuma, like, bot thing. Ah, there he is. Huh? This is, oh, hey, Makoto. This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us to stay up all night while you slept like a b baby in your bed. Like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. 
Then I noticed the Monokuma thing on the ground. It formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was... What the? Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. Right out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. That's supposed to be Monokuma himself. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Damn, look at look at Hina's tits though, not gonna lie. They're a little distracting. They're pretty beautiful. Dismantling? Yeah, but Koko's like, what? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not even phased. Yeah, you missed some shit. Hm. Relax, there's no danger. I say that, but what is this? What are you guys doing? Yeah, good question. Let's talk. Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, my guy, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Yakuya found this little fella laying around, then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And she's still just gone. She apparently showed up at your room last night, though. And I found him here just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly, pro disassembly process. <laughs> it was Master's st stroke of genius. A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. <laughs> One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any m normal remote control toy, which was obvious. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But, but besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if it didn't break down... So in other so words... he didn't break down then maybe something has happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility, yeah. In other words, Kyoko's doing work. Maybe, something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of master, they ran away in terror. Could it be? Maybe they got sick or something? But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the mastermind? Hmm. I was gonna say, oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. That's why it's exactly the same. Hmm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. Hey, guys. I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is it? Oh, it's the bomb. It, it's, well, yeah, we know that Monokuma can blow up. We saw that with, uh, in chapter one. Huh? Is what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? What? A uh, b, b, b bomb oh, That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Uh, um... Uh, roger that. Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. What? What? A motion sensor for serious? Uh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, you're so not fine. You're all... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that, man. Uh. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. The century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. Wow. I love you, hero. Even though I said I don't, I do. <sighs> Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hang on to it. It's not gonna gonna do you any good anyways. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Here, I put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at this at that point. 
Eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden? That looks like a game controller, that one part. Was it really because something had happened to the Mastermind they weren't expecting? What could that have been when I thought about it? Actually, it could be either one. Couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't huh us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Huh? That's a n no. What are you, some k kind of brain dead farm animal? So, sorry. Hmm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're gonna break into the Headmaster's room. R really? Naturally. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But, but, if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there... What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. <laughs> what the heck? Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You could be chicken number six! Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right, I'll go with you. It's all clear now. Okay then, we're gonna break into the Headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere, Master, to all the ends of the Earth! <laughs> Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will to the of the entire universe on my side, man. We each found determination our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Here we go. Holy shit, here we go. Oh, can we talk to one after another? <laughs> Naturally, master's the one to show such bravery. <laughs> Just make sh sure you don't get in his way. It's been a while since we've seen Jill. Okay. Sakura's gonna be watching over us, so we're definitely gonna find something to help us bring this to an end. It's time to bring it to an end. I got to say that earlier. This is the same night that I recorded the She-Ra finale. Just give you an idea of how long ago I recorded this. Hmm. We finally reached the climax. <sighs> so let's hurry up and finish it before the Mastermind catches us all. Let's go. This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Is everyone ready? Here we go! Rattle, rattle. Hmm. It's locked as expected. So, what are you gonna do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tear this door off its hinges. Huh? Wait, but the rules say... Hmm. We've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... Like Makoto said, if the Mastermind did show up while we were in there... So, in other words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that could happen. Hey! Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. <laughs> so beautiful! I mean... You're serious? What the heck? You don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. The pickaxe, maybe? Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? Yep. The thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then. Oh, yeah, the pickaxe. Yeah. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> oh, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the d dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. What? What? That's straight up unreasonable. <laughs> I, 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 but by myself? Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. 
what? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> is that an Adventure Time reference? No, this is too... This game is too old to be for this to be in... I, well... No, I think this game's too old. I don't know when this got translated, though. Unacceptable! With that, Toka ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Jesus. Hey. I'm serious, though. Are we just gonna knock this door down? Hm. No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. Can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. That's something that Tagami and Kirigiri have in common. I love Kyoko. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um. Maybe, but, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense, I can hardly talk. I'm all flip buzz. No. I'm totally flap bat flap flap staff flabbergasted, you dumbass. What? 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 Flap sauce? What the hell, Jill? What? What? Gross. Where'd that come from? Wait, genocide, Jill. Where'd you come from? You called for me, and so I appear. Hello, hello. It's the wonderful murderous fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. <laughs> I just mentioned it'd been a while since we'd seen you, Jill. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? Uh, I was supposed to pick an axe. <laughs> no, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Uh -huh. Seeping imbecile. Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. <laughs> Here comes the bloody nose. Huh? Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. I do love my fish. I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> All right, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery. Hmm? Have you reached that certain age? What? Yup, now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. So, um... Now what are you talking about? <sighs> you already forget what we were talking about? You're like, missing out on life. You've gotta be kidding! I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. Wait, what did you- wait, what? What? What did you find? <laughs> Uh, or puss. What? You, SOB! Oh, did you hear me? I said corpse! A corpse? Yep. Ah, uh, and that's why Jill came out. That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden. What, what did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. If this person really is the mastermind, then what the fuck is the rest of the game? Uh, okay. I'm so nervous. It could be- it's either Kyoko, Mukuro, or the- or the mastermind. Those are the only options, really. As soon as we enter the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but it's the mast- Potato, yep. Yep. Those fingernails, though, don't really look like Kyoko's. Huh. So it probably is the 16th student, then. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. W what the? Are they really dead? Why do I get the feeling Makoto killed her, her and then Kyoko covered it up? For sure, but who is it? You would. Oh God. Oh no. Her mile dash. Pain of a junk food junkie. Dangan Rampa. Oh, what the, bro. Bro, that is like the ultimate tease. Are you kidding me?
What a tease. Wow. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was daily life of whatever the, whatever the freaking 100 miles and junk food junkie, whatever the hell, I, I still don't remember what chapter 5 is called. It, it, it's about as absurd of a title as chapter 3, but Christ, someone is dead, the only possibilities are Kyoko, the mastermind, or the 16th student. Or, I guess... And it looks like a girl, which actually doesn't rule out anyone, because the mastermind could be a girl, Kyoko's a girl, and um, the 16th student is a girl, so it really doesn't rule out any of the three possibilities. But the nails were red, that definitely did not... I, I don't think I've ever... Well, no! But we have never seen... Yo! She wears gloves! We have never seen Kyoko's nails. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I, I, I felt I felt confident like oh it's not Kyoko because why would her nails be red and then I was like we've never actually seen her nails. Oh god. Oh now I'm terrified. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. So it could be either Kyoko the mastermind or well, god damn it I've forgotten her name. Mukuro? I think it was Mukuro Ikusaba something like that. The 16th student Kyoko and the mastermind. I don't even know. I guess we'll find out next time on Danganronpa, as next time we will investigate this crime, potentially. Now, we didn't get a, a body discovery announcement, because the Mastermind's fucked up. And the Mastermind is either whoever is under the mask, or that's Mukuro. And Mukuro might be the Mastermind. There's, like, so much things going on here. Like, something's up with the Mastermind. I assume Kyoko and the Mastermind are in, are doing sus right now. And in the meanwhile, this person died. But Kyoko, I don't even know. I don't even know. Because that's a thing, too. If we trust what happened, if we assume this is Mukuro that died, the only possible suspects that make sense are Kyoko and Makoto. And I'm pretty sure you could pick yourself in this game, which is terrifying. I don't even know. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh man, I'm so excited for next time on Danganronpa. This is going to be amazing. I don't know what to expect, but I know that the next episode is going to be absolutely wild to investigate. And then probably the episode after that should be the 5th class trial, I guess? But we also have to break into the headmaster's room? There's so much stuff going on. The game is really starting to reach the crescendo now. We're starting to head towards the climax. Sh slowly but surely, it feels like we're really making progress. We're close. We're on the heels of the mastermind. The 16th student is going to come up. Whether or not the, the dead body is the 16th student is its own question. Who knows what's going on with Kyoko? Hopefully that's not Kyoko under the mask. I don't know. I have no confidence here. I I mean, it literally has to be either Kyoko, the mastermind, or the 16th student. It's not going to be the mastermind, so it has to be Kyoko or the 16th student. Here's the thing, though. We saw... Dude, Makoto fucking murdered her. It's going to be Makoto. It's literally... It's either, either Makoto murdered her... Or Kyoko murdered her protecting Makoto. But I think if Kyoko did it, we wouldn't have a case. I think Kyoko would fess up to it and admit it. But if Makoto did it... Holy shit. Unless, when we have the trial, Kyoko's gonna be absent. Because of whatever's going on with Kyoko. So, and it looks like Kyoko did it. And she's suspicious because she's gone. But we have to figure out that Makoto did it. But what the fuck there? Unless we are act- um, I I've joked about this before, but if Makoto actually did it, what the fuck- from a player perspective, what the fuck? Like, either this is the last chapter after all, and this chapter is just gonna be long as shit, which is possible, or- or 
The other possibility is he actually gets killed and then we literally be either take over, we probably take over Kyoko, but I would think we'd either take over Kyoko or Tagami because I can't, I don't see why we would play as Hiro or Hina or um, Toko. The only ones that make sense are Tagami or Kyoko, but probably Kyoko because I don't think we would play a guy who's as much of an ass as Tagami, but that would be amazing. But that's, there's no way that's it. So, but like my initial thought based on what we've seen is that Makoto did it. Unless Kyoko's framing Makoto, but that just doesn't, after everything that's happened with Kyoko, I highly doubt that's what's going on. But I don't know. I mean, unless the mastermind did it, I don't even know. But that's the thing. I don't even know who actually died yet. So I really should keep these theories during the investigation. And then of course, I always make my pre-trial prep theory on who I think the killer is before the trial starts but we'll get into all of that nonsense next episode and probably the following episode as well but uh that's gonna do it for this part of Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc one of my favorite episodes of the whole game so far that was amazing chapter five is off to a blazing start we have entered the fifth floor of Hope's Peak which is the final floor of Hope's Peak we now have access to all five floors but there are a couple rooms still uh, inaccessible the data center, the headmaster's room. And of course, the main hall room in, in on the first floor. And we can't access the... What appears to be, I guess, the second floor of the dormitories. So there's still definitely some things to unlock, potentially. But I guess we'll find out down the line. But for now, I guess we'll see what happens. Next time, we're gonna, I guess, investigate a murder. And possibly also break into the headmaster's room. I don't know. But regardless, I, I forget the exact title, but it's like 100 miles or something, run or something, and like a junkie's junk food something, whatever. Oh, actually, 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 um, no, it just says chapter five. What the hell? No, I want to load game. Oh, hi, Monokuma. Oh, it just says chapter five, school life, deadly life, daytime. Oh, God damn it. Well, this is fitting. We got Monokuma on the screen with Makoto, which is very fitting, actually. I don't think I've actually ever seen that before. But, um, yeah, that was a that was a really fun episode of Danganronpa, and I'm really excited to see what happens next time. As we jump into the, I assume, the investigation and possibly also still break into the Headmaster's room. So there's a lot of stuff to go, to go, gonna go down next time on Danganronpa. And it feels like the end is starting to come into focus. I don't know where we're heading towards this finale, but this has been a crazy game and we're heading towards a crazy ending. That I can say confidently without a doubt. So anyways, that'll do it for this episode of Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Spike Chunsoft shout out. They were literally in the episode because of Monokuma's uh, Monokuma Theater memes. But uh, anyways... Flame and Shark signing out. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.